Lau barely gets it away to Daly, looking for Walsh in the corner, and splashes the three. Wildcats still just passing it around, looking for somebody in the paint. They find Daly, but the jumper is no good. However, the steal comes back. Walsh with the scoop layup and one. On this team, great shooter, had 10 points last game, and she'll be a big part of the success. Though. Walsh for three. She's up to 13 points so far. Weaver cross-court pass to Pina. Long three is good from the corner. Green goes down. Maybe slightly hobbled. Bowen with a three-pointer and cashes it. Back out to Green. Bowen in the corner, drops it, still puts it up, still buries it. Barton over to Flowers. Now back to Barton. In the corner is Green. She cashes a three. Lau looking to push. Feeds to Weaver, and that one was off a of foot. Another turnover for Caroline Lau. Bowen in the corner for three, and she gets it again. Four for six from deep. Northwestern has scored just one basket in the first four and a half minutes of this quarter. Green buries another one. Southeast Missouri State can't miss right now, so just kind of one of those stretches. Red Hawks have more points in this quarter than they did all in the first quarter, and that'll help the Wildcats. Kaylee Walsh buries a three. Simo looking for some kind of shot. Here's Barton. Barton makes another three. Bowen guarded tightly, double teamed by Pina and Walsh. Gets past both of them. Feeds inside, and the layup is good from Amaya Buchanan. I mean, she's got a real chance to get close up to 30 points, potentially. Walsh finds Weaver in the corner. Weaver with the shot, and she buries the three. But another offensive rebound for the Wildcats. Daly's gonna put up a shot. She's gonna cash it from the right wing, rather the left wing. For Northwestern, in their 2-3 zone, doing a good job at contesting shots. Lau finds some space, feeds inside to Walsh. What a dime from Caroline Lau. Walsh feeds inside for Mott again. Bunch of Red Hawks come to her aid and a feed there to Daly who gets the bucket. Daly takes a screen, passes out to the corner to Lau. Lau with the three and she's money. Only hits the net, so why, why try anything else, Gavin? Richmond hits the floor, Lau the other direction. She feeds it left with a no looker. Daly up for the layup and some sizzle to the end of that. Gorgeous from Mel Daly. The Red Hawks, 23 to eight. Stevens will take a three. She buries it from the corner. Taking a shot is Green and she buries a deep three. Pina finds Lau. Lau looks inside for Walsh. Walsh puts it up. And that ties Kaylee Walsh's career high with 24 points. Walsh now with 24 and 10, that's her fourth career double-double. Pina puts up a three, she buries it! That touch today, two for seven from the floor, just a little too hard on that one, like you said, Gavin. Doyle takes a deep three, she is money! Lau looking to take a screen from Mott, drives inside, passes up to Mott, and Mott gets the layup to fall off the backboard. She's been huge for them. Weaver from the corner, she buries a three. It's double teamed. Just so much poise from Lau, and here's the feed inside, blocked by Flowers. A little in interested by that. Wildcats playing keep away, Walsh will chuck up a three, and that's a new career high for her. Has been really efficient from three point land so far today. Weaver pressured, finds Mott, Mott finds Daly with the pump fake. And another bucket to go for Melanie Daly. Now amounting to what is going to be a pretty big bounce back win for the Wildcats as last second jumper is good. It's very likely the result holds and Northwestern will advance to three and one on the season while Southeast Missouri State will fall to one and three. And Griffin, none of this would have been possible for the Wildcats without a massive day from Kaylee Walsh.